So here we have the first Jordan release of the year and the last Jordan release of the year. And both of these happens to be Jordan 1s. On today's video, I'm gonna compare both of these to see which one was the best one. The first one or the last one? On a previous video, I talked a little bit about these two. I made it kind of a comparison, but on today's video, it's gonna be a dip one. So stay here with me. If you want to know which one, in my opinion, is the best between these two shoes right here. But before we go into all that, please let me ask you to go and hit the thumbs up if you like the content. Also, go and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Activate the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video, which is every single day, guys. So, so go follow me on my Instagram and on TikTok as JasonJKX. And now, let's begin this video. So I don't know if this was a coincidence or not that both of these um, Air Jordan releases, the first one and the last one, happens to be both of these Jordan ones, but I don't care about that. I'm gonna compare these two to see when Jordan gave us the best one, at the beginning or at the last month of the year. This is the last release for 2023. The name of this one is the Jordan 1 High Craft um, Celadon, and this one is the Jordan 1 High True Blue. This shoe is inspired in the Jordan 3 True Blue, even though this one doesn't have any red or elephant print on the shoe. Um, yeah, this pretty much resembles, or at least is inspired on that iconic Jordan 3. Well, this one is just a color of their own. Um, a bit of a twist on this one. That's why this is a Jordan 1 High Craft. We can see some of that craft concept in the tongue. We can see the finished touch right there to give the shoe a little bit of a off-white vibe in my opinion, but yeah, pretty, pretty dope colorway. This one looks a little bit also um, like the Jordan 1 Soul Fly, but the shade of green and the shade of orange are not the same, but kind of the same vibe, you know what I'm talking about. So different vibe for this one, True Blue on this one, Celadon on this one. Celadon is a actual color for those of you who don't know. That's what we have right here on these shoe that could be easily be called the Olive Jordan 1 because next year we're gonna have the Jordan 5 Olive that is gonna have essentially, essentially the same colorway as this one. But yeah, Celadon is the official name for this one. On this shoe, we have a shoe that is um, predominantly in um, leather material as we can see right here. But this one also have a little bit of a type of a nubuck or suede on the back. I think this is nubuck and this one don't have that um, tone motion, um, changing the color or anything like that. Not, it's just gray and that's it. The leather quality in this shoe is nothing special. Actually, it's very average um, leather quality in this one. As you can see, I have worn this one a lot. You can see the creasing right here on this area and the leather on the white areas like the panel and the toe. I like it a little bit, you know, but still pretty average as we can see when it comes to the leather material on the shoe. The new bug is like, eh, yeah, it is what it is. So um, when we go with the Celadon, I gotta say though, this might be one of the best um, material Jordan ones that we got this year because man, these suede so beautiful. I'm comparing the suede on this one with the suede on the Travis Scott Gen 1, just that I like this one better. I'm talking about materials. I like the material on this shoe better than the material on the Travis Scott. I mean, just look how nice that suede looks and the way it feels is just unbelievable. Um, the material between um, these two shoes is not the same. We have leather on this one, full leather. And on this one, we have suede, even though if you don't know, suede still leather, you see different treatment. But yeah, suede is what we have right here, but also we have a little bit of leather right here on the toe and on the side panel. And I gotta say that the, 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 the leather, the leather feels really nice. Let me know how it looks in camera, but it feels really, really nice. Nothing premium, pretty average, like I said, but we don't have trash quality on this one, nowhere on the shoe, but in the ankle area and on the swoosh of the shoe, we have some type of a nylon material. Just listen at this. Can you hear that sound? Yeah, this is some type of a nylon material. I don't know what it went with that material, but on this area, I don't even care and actually looks, looks good. 
looks good. There, there's nothing to complain about um, on the issue when it comes to material, really solid. When it comes to material, I give the shoe a 9.5 out of 10 just because of the material using on this area, but that's not something that's gonna throw me off. Uh, to the true blue, when it comes to material, I'm gonna give the shoe a 6 out of 10 because the leather right here is not trash, but it's just regular leather, nothing special on the shoe. On this one, we have these um, black toe color blocking, we can say, actually has the same exact color blocking that the Juden One High Mocha have, and just different colorway, obviously. That's what we have here. We have white on this area, white on the panel, and white on the toe, as well as on the midsole. On this one, we have a different color on the back, just like we have on the Mocha, just that this time on this one, we have it in gray, and on the rest of the shoe, instead of black, we have that blue, true blue, or whatever. Nice colorway and color blocking on this one. The tongue comes in white with the Nike tone tag. Um, in blue with the Nike branding in white, sock liner in blue, really nice, really nice. The, the, the material used on the on the sock liner is also really good, I gotta say. This one comes with two pair of laces, a blue one and this white one that I think make the shoe looks even better than the way it looks with the blue laces, in my opinion, only probably, but I like the way it looks with the, um, with the white laces on the shoe. And on the Celadon, we have the Chicago color blocking, as we can see. Just that on this one, instead of black right here, we have this orange, and instead of red on the rest of the shoe, we have this Celadon green. And right here, instead of white, we have a light cell color as well as on the on the toe. Right here, we have a, a bit of a stronger cell on the midsole, looking really nice, and the outsole is in the same shade of green as the rest of the shoe, but pretty dope, pretty dope in my opinion. This one on the tongue, we have a um, cell or pitch tongue, as we can see, cell laces on this one, and an extra set of laces in this same shade of green. I don't know why they didn't include an um, extra set of laces in orange, but it is what it is. We have a um, cell tone tag with Nike branding, in orange and the sail on uh, wings logo on the shoe this one is a really clean one as well the sug liner is in orange have a uh, kind of the same the same type of material that we have in the sug liner of the true blue so when it comes to that it's a tie for the um for the sug liner but when it comes to call away and color blocking both of these has really classic color blocking, but the colorway on these two shoes, I gotta say that I'm gonna give the edge to the to the true blue just because it's more of a wearable color because who doesn't have a blue blue t-shirt or something in their closet? You know what I'm talking about? While on this one, it's more of a unique look. Crazy colorway on this one looks good. Don't get me wrong. I like it a lot, but if we have to choose between these two, I think this one is more wearable than this one is, but super fire, both of these. Let me know in your opinion, which colorway you like the most between the Celadon and the True Blue. So, this one wins when it comes to material, this one wins when it comes to colorway and wearability as well. Both of these super fire, but which of these two would you prefer to have in your collection? The Slipper, True blue and uh, surprisingly selling out eventually, not in the same day, Celadon. This one sit in shelves for a good, good time for a few months actually. It's not sitting anymore because I mean, the shoe was the first release of the year and the year is almost ending. And this one just released this month and probably some sizes, like one size left. I don't think so anymore. I think the shoe's already sold out. Surprisingly, because I mean, come on, but for you, which of these two is the best one? True Blue or Celadon? If I have to choose one, only one, in my personal opinion, I would go with a Celadon just because of the, the unique um, look that this one have. I already have the Storm Blue, which looks a lot like this one, but it's a super solid shoe. Really hard to go with any of these over the other because both of these are really good shoe to have. 
quality is good in both of these nothing special on this one on this one oh damn hell yeah quality is just not mind blowing on this one if you have these in person you know what i'm talking about on this one is not bad you won't be disappointed with the quality well might be a little bit but not that much it's good it's good so for me i like the celadon a little bit more than the true blue just because of the unique look on this one and for the fact that I have many blue shoes in my, my collection and I don't have that many shoes with this colorway and color black. And actually this is the only shoe I have with this colorway and color black in the collection. So for me, the winner is the Celadon Jordan 1. But for you, who takes the cake between these two, True Blue or Celadon? Let me know in the comment section. I just wanted to make a quick comparison between um, the first release and the last release of 2023 for Jordan's releases when it comes to that so let me know your opinion now in the comment section thank you guys a lot for watching the video if you want to know more about me and my content go and follow me here on instagram you have it here is jason j kicks i'm always uploading videos picture um sneaker information about um shock drop early access all that just follow me on my instagram jason j kicks thank you guys a lot for watching again let me ask you one last time which of these two is your favorite celadon or true blue let me know in the comment section and tell the next one but they're both fire right both of these are fire at least in my opinion <laughs> goodbye